Hi, and welcome back to Build Your Own Data Logger with Arduino, Module 2, Section 2. In this module, we'll be going through the actual steps to download, install, and configure the Arduino Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is download and install the Arduino software, otherwise known as the IDE, or Integrated Design Environment. Although there is a web editor available, it's limited in the hardware it supports, so we won't be using it. Instead, we'll be using the desktop version of the Arduino IDE. If you go to the URL shown, you can find your OS platform and download the latest version. It doesn't matter which version of Arduino you download, as long as it's later than version 1.5. After you download it, double-click on the package to install, and after installation, run the application. Let's try that now. Now that you've installed the Arduino IDE, you can run it and you should get a window like this. Congratulations, you've just become an Arduino programmer. We still need to do a couple more setup tasks though to get things up and running for WildLogger. The next thing is to install the WildLogger board description file. The board description files are what Arduino uses to know how to upload your code to the board correctly and includes things like pin names and which pins to use. The board files are written by the board manufacturer to specify the board according to the standards created by Arduino. The Arduino IDE comes with some pre-installed board descriptions, like the Arduino Uno, installed by default. For specialty boards like WildLogger, you'll need to install the board description files yourself. To install the board description files, you need to tell the IDE the URL to retrieve the description from. To do this, you go into File, Preferences in the Arduino IDE. Once you're in the preferences, you'll need to go to the additional board manager URLs near the bottom and paste the following URL in there. It's a long URL, so we put it in the description of this video so you can just copy and paste it in. This tells the Arduino board manager additional locations to look for board description files. In this case, we're telling it to look inside the Freak Labs GitHub user account where it can find the board files for WildLogger. Once we've pointed the IDE to the correct repository to locate the board description files, we can go into the board manager and install the WildLogger board description, along with other boards from Freak Labs, just in case you're interested. To get there, go to the Tools Board menu option and click on Board Manager. Once in the board manager, you might have to wait a while as it downloads all the available boards, both from the Arduino company and the Freak Labs GitHub user repository. Once the downloading is finished, Type Freak Labs into the search bar and it'll automatically filter the board descriptions for you. Fortunately or unfortunately, there should only be one. And finally, as a sanity check, we can go into Tools, Board, and look for the WildLogger board. So underneath Board Manager, if you scroll down, you should be able to find WildLogger. And just as an FYI, this is what it looks like on a Mac. Finally, it's important to install the USB driver so the dongle that downloads code from your computer to the board can work. It's a standard USB to serial driver, and installation mainly needs to occur on Windows and Mac OS-based computers. On recent versions of Linux, the driver should already be installed. To see if you have the CH340 USB serial driver installed, plug the USB dongle into your computer using the USB cable. After you've plugged in, open Arduino, then in the main menu, go to Tools, and select Port. On Windows, it should show up as a new COM port. On Linux, it would be a TTY USB port, and on Mac, it would show up something like the picture shown here. If your computer can recognize the dongle, the driver is already installed. You don't need to reinstall it. If you do need to install the driver, go to the link shown and download the driver file. Unzip and install the driver based on your OS. Also, there are known issues with an older version of this driver and Mac High Sierra. These issues should be fixed in this version though. However, if you're using that OS and experience issues, let us know. In this submodule, we downloaded and installed the Arduino IDE and installed the board definition files for the WildLogger. This allows the Arduino IDE to recognize and configure the board properly. In the next submodule, we'll get started with some basic programming. Stay tuned for module 2-3. Arduino, program, structure!